guys and welcome to another what's for dinner today i'm sharing full week of dinners there's healthy ones there's not so healthy ones there's low carb ones there's uh, an option for a non-low carb so come along for dinner tonight we are having two sheep hen dinners uh, something very simple last weekend i spent like four hours cooking so i just wanted something simple for this weekend and i will have enough for lunch for sure maybe even a little bit for dinner for next week and uh, for tomorrow as well so over here i just have some sausages and potatoes i kept the sausages whole because i know my son will want to have a sausage on the bun and some potatoes and over here I have, so this is pork sausage, and over here I have a turkey sausage, one pork sausage, and then um, tons of shrimp with a whole zucchini, whole pepper, whole red onion, and some salt and pepper. I did a season the shrimp last night with some Cajun seasoning. I left it in a fridge overnight, and I drizzled everything with olive oil, and now it's going to go in the oven for about... I think about 40 minutes or so, maybe a little less for the shrimp one. For dinner tonight, I am making baked cod for us and just pin fried um, and lightly breaded with flour for the kids. And I have seasoned my cod with Cajun seasoning, which is cayenne pepper, some onion powder, oregano, gar uh, salt, pepper, uh, red pepper flakes, garlic salt, thyme and paprika and I'm going to bake ours with some garlic uh, olive oil and a little bit of butter and I'm also making home fries for the kids and I'm gonna make steam some veggies for us the potatoes are in an air fryer I started my veggies here I'm just gonna steam them up Preheating the oil and I'm just gonna toss the fish into the flour and then into the hot oil. For dinner tonight we are having a quick and easy dinner i had then some a head of cauliflower and some baby potatoes with some chicken thigh seasoning with some paprika olive oil salt pepper garlic and red pepper flakes and in the oven for about an hour it goes and then i'm making a salad with it i have added some romaine lettuce and spinach with some cucumbers tomatoes red onion and some of these pickled pepperoncini peppers and I'm going to give this Olive Garden Italian seasoning a try. I don't typically use, I mean dressing that season. I don't typically do seasoning. Usually it's all oil and vinegar and salt and pepper or a lemon, lemon juice, but thought I'd live on the wild side and try this out. It doesn't look that bad and the ingredients is pretty straightforward so um i'll let you know what i think for dinner tonight i am making uh instant pot cream of broccoli soup and i have my veggies all cut up already i got uh, onions uh, celery and carrots i have uh, broccoli i've got my garlic i have my homemade bone broth and then i have to shred some ch uh, cheese and i will be adding a half and half so I start off with sauteing my onions, garlic, celery, and carrots first. So my veggies are almost ready. You just want them to soften. I'm going to add my broccoli and my stock or brown broth. I'm just going to throw that in there and because uh, I have more time than just five minutes or whatever it takes time for it to come to pressure my bone bone broth is in there broccoli is in there i'm going to close it 
up. Make sure the vent is off. And cancel my saute. Turn my menu on for five minutes. High pressure and let that cook and once it comes to pressure I'm going to release it so I've added my cream and my cheese I'm gonna add salt and pepper and it will be done as soon as the cheese is melted For dinner tonight, we are having French dip and I have been cooking it in a crock pot for about nine hours. I have a full recipe, which I will link in a, at the end for you to check out um, how to make this. I just didn't want it to repeat myself, but um, yeah, it's pretty delicious. And I serve it with some salad, baguette with malted cheese. Italian season um, dressing I don't typically buy dressing but everybody raved about this one so I picked it up just to give it a try and it's from Costco it's not too too bad as far as the ingredients go so then I'm gonna add some garlic uh, two tablespoons of honey and three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and I'm using chicken thighs and then I'm going to bake them in the oven so here it is, it's gonna go in the oven for about half an hour or so, 40 minutes, and then I'm just gonna make some salad to go with it. So just to show you, the chicken is done, and the salad for a side, I know it's a little boring, but I guess it's not boring if it tastes good. <laughs> 